I will act as if I'm just on social media and I'm reading what I always see as the misinformation points. So as I ask these questions, maybe know that, that I might know the answer to some of these, but I'm going to frame them in a way that helps for this game we're going to play. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Misinformation point one, I see all the time. Mayor, why would you spend $1 billion of public tax revenue on this when you could use it for all these other things like schools and roads and all the other issues? Because, Casey, we don't have that billion dollars right now. We're talking about a billion dollars that would be generated by the project. We're talking about spending the tax dollars essentially of John Fisher, not yours. <laughs> so we're, we, and we won't have those tax dollars and some other tax dollars that this project is gonna generate unless the project gets built. And so it makes sense to put, to pledge the new money that we do not have today to create that money and more in the future is that okay but, to get, yeah, to get but, me? but my argument there now is is if there's all this money flying around shouldn't the public be the ones that decide not the the city council that they elected themselves so the public elected the city council to make these types of decisions the public will have an opportunity to weigh in in every significant step along the way and if at the end of the day the public does not like the deal that the city council agreed on, there is a referendum process where the public could by vote overturn the city council's decision. That is how our representative democracy works. And I can assure you that this city council and the other agencies that all have some authority over this project are trying to be as transparent as possible, create as much opportunity for public input to be heard as possible. Yeah, but like the port is really important. How can you put a stadium right in the middle of the port? Well, the port themselves have said, this is what they want. This is what they think is the best for the port of Oakland. They've laid out why this particular piece of land at the very end of the shot, you know, the channel that has to keep being dredged actually cannot ever be used as a shipping terminal again. They've been trying to lease it for 10 years as a shipping terminal and no one has been interested. And it is just getting more and more decrepit and uh, not adequate to meet modern shipping needs. So the port who are experts in their own business are the ones that have said, we want the A's development here. That is what is in the most interest of the Port of Oakland, the city and the region. But the BCDC just voted to give 56 acres of the port to this project. What's next? When they take those 56, aren't they just gonna keep grabbing more and more acres? Oh, you should have seen the due diligence that BCDC did to determine what the overall cargo needs are of the Bay Area, not just today, but into the future. They looked at different growth scenarios, different types of cargo, and asked, do we have enough capacity to accommodate a larger amount of cargo in the near future, not the distant future, the near future. And they said, yes. They said that we do have enough room to grow, particularly because in Oakland, we took the former army base and we've turned those, I think it's about 130 acres over into port uses. So that has that's doubled the size of the port in Oakland and they found unused capacity in other ports like the port of Benicia. Well, I think that makes sense. It's me again. Um, I think that's important to do though. Well, I'm because... glad that misinformed guy has gone away. Misinformed <laughs> guy, he was, he was troubling. I, I don't necessarily want to say misinformed guy, maybe just not having as much time to pay attention to everything and hearing all right, all right. from all over the place guy and just doesn't know what's real or not. Maybe that's that's a long title, but um, you know, the BCDC, the growth, there are three growth scenarios, you know, this is slow, moderate, and strong. And all three are growth scenarios for the port. So uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, 
Mayor Schaff, thank you very much for spending some time with me and that, that other guy. And uh, I really appreciate it. Casey, I appreciate the energy that you've put into this and that you are helping the public understand just how spectacular this project is going to be. Thanks.